Casual racism is like making everyday comments that is like a stereotype to a certain race. Casual racism to me is when you make a joke and not realize that it's really racist. When did you first realize racism exists in Singapore? Uh, when I moved to Singapore like five years ago, I noticed an MRT like the construction workers. Uh, I saw the seats were empty, but they were not sitting there. So one day I just noticed this like multiple times and I asked and they say like uh, we believe that it's not for us. Then I asked them why you feel this. So they just feel that like the people here in Singapore maybe they don't like to sit with them. And my personal experience, uh, one of my Malay colleagues picks me up in the morning and there is one more Malay colleague and I am sitting on the back seat of the car and the radio is in Malay and they are talking in Malay. So I am completely let, left out of the communication. Which is, okay, their motive is not that, but that is where casual racism is. It's not your intention, but you are making somebody feel isolated. Is this racist having a racial preference in dating? Uh, it depends. No. No. Uh, yes. Because I feel like you should have the right to choose whoever you want to spend the rest of your life with. So how can you differentiate between like different races? So if it's a Chinese majority, then the other races will left out. So I think if you are going in future talking about global village and connectivity, uh, race is not no more important, I think. We need to come out of that uh, like uh, shallow thinking and we should date with all the races openly and that will uh, make you learn about other races as well. So you, it will broaden your vision as well. It's not racist for me to like date my own race or whatever, if I'm more attracted to them or whatever. If, let's suppose, uh, a girl from another race comes to you and she approaches you and she is not of your preference so you will just say no to her if I'm attracted to her, I'll say yes to her so it means like you are open with all the races yeah, yeah, that's so right. you are contradicting your own comment no, I think it's not racist what I meant is like you can choose whoever you want to date and I don't think it's racist to choose someone of your own race is it racist to converse in the mother tongue language in the presence of other ethnicities who do not understand? it depends Depends. Yes. No. Sometimes it just comes in naturally to your own mother tongue. To be honest with you, it is not racist also. Because sometimes also there are people who don't speak English also. So we have to talk to them in our own mother tongue language to make them understand thing and situation. I think I will again disagree with Rohit here. Because again, you are talking about a context of Singapore. And when there are multiple races, you cannot uh, isolate somebody from the communication. If you want to talk in your mother tongue, you can always do it separately. So I, I really feel in context of Singapore, when you communicate in your mother tongues in front of other races, I think it's a racism. But the thing is, we are not saying bad things about them also. It does yeah. not matter actually. What Like you understand Hindi yes. and I start talking with you in Hindi right now, you see what they will feel. So if a third race is present between there, that's the question I think that if there is other race, if only me and you are here, no problem. What is one thing you wish could have been done differently? When they see things like casual racism, they should voice it out instead of staying quiet and like closing both eyes, you know, acting like it doesn't exist. People should not attack them, so they should rather educate them because it's to help them understand so about the consequence of giving racist comments. What is one thing that you would like to tell the audience? I would like to tell the audience to not be a dick and <laughs> be nice to people but in all seriousness you should educate yourselves on racism and how to stop it or, and spread the word to your friends and family you need to be sensitive to the people around you also be kind and also understand their feelings also be chill i mean everyone is a human being also people in this world we don't need sympathy but we need empathy we are in 2020 and what world needs is in integration of the society to fight casual racism, we need to change our social attitudes. Everyone has the power to contribute to this change. Steady a bit, do something about it.